Nah, nah, this is dumb as fuck. Fat person costumes. Um, I was going to use a very Australian word there, but I don't think it's very well received outside of Australia. So most of the costumes that I make are like something cardboard attached to me and then some gimmicky electronics inside of it and then like painted to look like something. And to continue that trend, where is my Game Boy? <laughs> oh, shh, there it is. The Game Boy Color. So I'm just gonna scale this up so I can fit inside of it, make it out of cardboard, make the buttons and everything work, paint it to look like a Game Boy, and that's about it. This is for an event in five days and I've got to let the paint dry for two of them. And I've left it to the last second as always. I don't really have a plan for this because I kind of just had the idea like an hour ago and started recording. Uh... Ah. Uh... It's a Raspberry Pi plugged into a projector running an emulator that's about it with a big cardboard box and, and a lot of tape and glue it is so fun to just have like a really cheap slave later 30 dollar projector laying around but for the buttons i'm going to use a pico because it, it it i've been loving this the last few months there they are so good i do recommend they are five australian dollars i don't know how much usd that is but they're cheap hi editing jared here i didn't explain this section very well and a lot of the audio sounds like but you know those Game Boy worm lights? I was originally going to build one and then put the projector at the end of the worm light so it would shine onto the Game Boy and this was because it was the only thing I had lying around. But then we went and got a secondhand monitor that works with the power supply. It turns on. Make sure you use the correct voltage monitor for the correct voltage battery. It's the, 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 the circle thing in the circle hole and the, the you get the point. I also grabbed these straps that they're too nice and too expensive for me to use once. I'm thinking just strap the monitor to my chest and then build the whole cardboard box around it and then, I don't know, I'll, I'll sort it out, all the, all the jingle jangles around the box and everything. But I think it's just gluing things together now, so. I think I got a bit too much cardboard. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. <laughs> so, uh, I forgot to record a lot of footage, but with very little sleep, we went to Supernova, and I was a little bit delirious at this point. This, this, this thing has been playing the Avengers theme for four hours now, and you can hear it all the way over there. So, how far did 92 strangers get in five hours? And not very far. We started by battling Blue, killed a Pidgey on Route 1, someone took us all the way to Viridian City, healed up, back to Route 1, then spent 30 minutes trying to kill this Pidgey. I don't really know what was going on here. Back to Viridian again. Master Chef took us back to Route 1 and then obliterated this Pidgey. Wandered around a bit, we killed another Pidgey. We then went all the way back to Pallet Town without Oak's parcel, changed it up with a Rattata on Route 1. This guy finally got the parcel, and then we immediately tried to go the wrong way. Back to Pallet Town and delivered the parcel this time. Pingo killed a rat, caught a Pidgey. Finally, on Route 2, entered the forest, double backed out of the forest, back to Viridian, and the last guy just decided to put Pidgey in a box. I'm just mainly worried about the monitor, but it should be good. Oh, shh. <laughs> oh, far out. Oh, no. I give up. <laughs>
All right, all right, hold up. Uh-oh. Oh, fire. It was loose on the monitor. Oh my God. It, it worked a lot better when it wasn't broken. So fun fact, we nearly lost the camera and all the footage. <laughs> on the way back, we left it on the bus and then it went through the entire one hour bus route and somehow was still on the bus at the end. That was a very stressful one hour because all the footage was on it with no backups and a lot of next month and it is an expensive thing. But it, it worked pretty well. Everything still works, so I'm gonna take it all apart and reuse everything, but I'm too lazy for that and that's gonna sit in the corner of my room for the next four months.